I want to see my mother. Also, I want to see my my dad, my brother. Don't worry, <laughs> mom is fine. Then I want to see her. She's fine. Let me just see her. Let me see, see, her. see her. No, no, no. Let me just go. You see her? Ah. Ah. I need to see her. Don't, please, please. No, 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 no. Please, calm down. Please, madam, calm down. I understand how you feel. You don't understand anything. I want to see my mother. No, no, no. Let me just. You will see her, you will see her, don't worry, you will see her. Just, just allow me, they are okay. I just Please want to see them. I just want to see them. Calm down. I just want to see them. You see. I want to see them. You will see them. I want to see them. I just want to see them. You will see them. You will see them. You will see them. Alright. She'll be fine. Excuse me. Who is this? <gasps> Doctor, I am asking you. Who is this? Your mother. No. It can't be. This cannot be my mother. This is not my mother. Please, just take me to my mother. That is all I asked you. Take me to my mother. I'm so sorry. You have to be strong. Please. Sorry, he didn't make it. You're alive. I mean, no one could have believed that someone came out alive from that ruptured car. Please, take it easy, please.
is just for yourself to be there. You see, he was unfortunate. And uh, from the result we carried out, we discovered that his optical nerve was badly affected due to the impact he suffered from the accident. Don't get what you say. Are you? Oh, my brother will not see again. Well, it's not certain. <laughs> but at this stage, a more elaborate test needs to be carried out to ascertain. Oh, like I've rightly said, please pull yourself together. Ah, we care, but God heals. If you excuse me now. Do you have any uncle or relatives around that should be contacted? No. It has always been our parents and us. They never introduced us to any relatives around except for the ones in the village. Why do you ask? Yes, because uh, the case is very serious and uh, if we are to keep treating your mother and your brother, then you will have to deposit huge amounts of money with us. How much are we talking about? 700,000 Naira for a start. Doctor. Seven hundred. Yes. Like I have rightly said. You see, her case is very serious. Your mother is on life support as we speak, and that alone is very expensive. Yes, I think it's a good thing that you are not badly affected. I think that will give you an opportunity to go around and source for fund. Because very soon my superiors will start asking questions and I wouldn't want that to happen. Uh, Nurse Matilda, let's come to my office right away. My dad was never bankrupt prior to his death. Adora, you may be right. But maybe. What are you saying? Um, Adora, he said your dad owed them some money, so they had to freeze his account. How? Okay. The house you're living in was mortgaged. And as a matter of fact, he couldn't even pay before his death. And the money is in his account. 
and not even pay off the debt. So, I'm going to wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that one day they will take over our house? Um, not even one day. As we speak now, they are in your house, taking over everything, and even some of your father's undeveloped property. So, there's nothing I can do. What is it? I, sorry, I batched in on you. What do you want? Sorry, I do not want anything. So please just leave me alone. See, I don't know what the problem might be, but can I help you in any way? Excuse me. Hello, doctor. What is it? I I need to get to the hospital now. Okay. I, I have my car here. I can take you. Okay? Just hold on.
You're welcome. This is where we'll be staying for now. Until I get a better apartment for you. Thank you so much. You have done enough already. Even though you barely know us, you have stood by us in this trying time. Thank you. I'm so sorry for your loss. I can imagine what you've been passing through. Why me? Why us? Who would have believed that one week ago my life was so beautiful. And in one week, the same life is now a total mess. My dear, you just have to be strong, okay? Okay? Life is just so funny that today might be up. The next day you're down. You can't just explain life. So be strong. How can I be strong? <laughs> How? This is so unfair. How can I be strong when I just lost my parents? In less than a week. How? It's, it's, it's not fair. I... <sighs> Hello. Yes. Really? I'll be there soon. What is it? The hospital. They said my, my brother is awake. Oh. I have to go now. Okay, I, I'll, I'll take you there. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. It is me. Huh. How do you feel? I feel better now. Except that I can't see you. I know. Sister, will I see you again? Uh, yes, yes. The doctor said you'll see you again. So just. Don't worry, you will see again, okay? Okay. Where is mom and dad? We are both together in the same car. We are right there. Sister. They didn't make it. No. No. Okay, please. No, 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 no. Just take it easy. Just take it easy. Please. It is fine. It's okay. Sorry.
<sighs> You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. I honestly don't know how to thank you, but my God will be. Come on, thank there you. you go again. You can't thank me for eternity. Okay? It could be anybody. I mean, good life, good health comes from Almighty God. God knows everything. Okay? So don't worry, you'll be fine. Everything will be fine. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. My father. Hello. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm busy now. Okay. I'll be there in a jiffy. Okay. I do. My father just called. So I'll run along now. Okay. Okay. Please, whatever you want, do not hesitate to make order. Call the kitchen or the barn, take whatever you want to take, okay? They're going to pass the bill to me. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. What is it that couldn't wait that made you pull me out here? What is I'm, it? I'm sorry, but your father insisted you come back home. What is the problem? Um, I wouldn't know. Where is he now? Um, he's inside. hotel life and come back here eh mom come on stop this we've discussed about this more than more than once stop please i hear you go around town with the girl who is she who are you talking about you can humor me but don't take me for a fool i have my eyes all over the city Dad, is that why you called me? We received a mail from Atlas Group in Dublin. They read our proposal and they are willing to do business with us. Beautiful. This is exactly what I want to hear. Good news. Good news indeed. But we need to seal that deal as soon as possible. Okay, okay, so what do you want me to do? I mean, get the paperwork ready? That's not your job, son. What I need you to do is to start packing. Because your flight to Dublin has been booked. What? Dad? Why would you do that? Without considering my itinerary? What itinerary are you talking about? You work for the company. And the company carves out your schedules for you. And the company is sending you to Dublin to seal a deal for her. Is that asking too much, son? Mom? Oh, yes. He is your father and the CEO. And also your husband. Oh, come on, son. Don't talk like that. It is in your best interest, you know.
And what of your brother? He's fine. He's sleeping. Okay. Have you guys had anything to eat? Yes. Okay. I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you. See, I, I promise you that everything will be fine. Okay? So, what about your parents, Beryl? Mm. The preparations are going well. My uncle, my uncle called from the village. Um, he said he'll be coming with other kinsmen to move their bodies down to the village while we prepare for the burial. Okay. In case of anything, please do not hesitate to tell me. Okay. What is the problem? How do you mean? I mean, your countenance. It wasn't like this before you went to meet your father. Oh, yeah, you're right. Mm. What happened? Well, my father wants me to go for an urgent message abroad. And you don't want to go? I do not want to go because, I mean, he has capable hands to do that for him. <laughs> Maybe he trusts you more. That is far from it. That's not the point now. The point is that I'm concerned about you and your brother. But you're not going there to live forever, are you? Uh, no, no. Give and take. Three weeks, I'll be back. Chino mm. and I can manage till you come back. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. I am. It's okay, I am going to relocate you people from this place to, to an apartment I rented for you guys. You did what? Namdi, why? 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 It's okay, it's okay. That's the least I could do. <laughs> um, there's something I I would want to tell you. I have feelings for you. You do? It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> You're the most glorious thing that has happened to me in a very long time. Really? Then, keep that thought of yours till I come back. Yeah, okay. Uh, that wants me to travel. 
yeah, I know, I know, but all I do, I'm still thinking about it. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Just hold it, I'll call you back, okay? Yeah. Hello, son. Hey, mom. I hope you're getting ready, son. Yes, mom. Come on, chill up. Hmm? Cheer up, you said? It's only for three weeks now. Mom, we're not counting number of weeks. So, what are we talking about? Hmm? Don't tell me it's because of that, that, that girl you kept in that hotel that is making you do all this. Your, uh, 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 if it's because of her, I would advise you, you take your mind off her. Because you have somebody you are getting married to very soon. Don't say I didn't tell you. Eh? Mom, I don't like the way Dad is pushing me around. He can just wake up one morning and decide for me what to do. How to shave my beard or not to shave my beard. To bait or not to bait. Mom, I'm, 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 I'm grown. I'm a man. <sighs> you talk as if your father is a tyrant. Your dad is only interested in your well-being. Eh? Mom, I'm a full-grown man. I know exactly what is good for me. I'm grown. Don't worry, Mom. Hmm? Very soon. I mean very soon. Your father will stop wading into your affairs. Yes. When? As soon as you get married to Adese. And you must make sure you get to London and bring her back so we can start the, 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 the marriage uh, process as soon as possible. Yes. Smile for me now. Hmm? Oh, Malita. Like mother, like son. Smile now. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. That's my son. I'm going to miss you, you know? I'm going to miss you so much. Mm -hmm. I'll miss you too. Smile now, smile. I'm good, I'm good. That's my son. Mm -hmm. Smile for me, smile for me, smile for me. What is it? Huh? What is it? Mom. Dad. You saw mom and dad in your dream. This is a nightmare. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just I'm scared. I know. But don't worry. Everything will be fine. Eh? Nothing will happen to you. I'm here. I've been calling you now. Huh? Okay. I have answered you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, how are you? As you can see, I am beautiful. As usual. Huh? As usual. You're very beautiful, I know. <laughs> uh, where are you going to? Yeah, okay. huh? What sort of stupid question is that? Are you the only one in this village that doesn't know that I work for the king? Why are you asking me where I'm going? Oh, it's true. It's true. Forgive my manners. It's true. I remember. It's true. It's true. Um, uh, Obie, what about what, uh, what I told you the other time? <laughs> Please, I don't be angry. Remind me. I've forgotten. What I told you concerning marrying me. <laughs> <laughs> 
You, let me ask you, what sort of stupid joke is this this morning? No, 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 how can I be joking with this kind of a thing? I'm sure, see, I love you with all my heart. Hi. I'm ready to come, I mean, I'm ready to spend the rest of my life with you. Just allow me to come and pay your bride's price, please. My bride price? <laughs> now, did you eat bread this morning? Right? Yeah, because I can see crumbs around your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. No, mm, the other side. Yeah. Is it out? No, it is not out. It is not. <laughs> you have the guts to stop me on the road to spit this nonsense. Let me warn you. The next time, I mean the next time you stop me to tell me this, you won't like what will happen to you. Yalla. Oh, listen, I love you. I love you. I'm ready to I'm ready to marry you. It's again. I love you love who? May God punish you and that's your love. Even your children unborn, may God punish all of you. Love you, you dear. You don't know your mates. Oh, you I, I love you. Don't go and look for a way to grow hairs under your bare heads. Natural love. Oh, I love you. It's okay. I can do for you. Don't leave the king. The king, you have a call. It's the princess. Oh. Hello, my princess. How are you today? And how is London? Yes, I'm fine, but uh, not too fine. It's because of your refusal to come back home. Yes. Oh, really? Where would that be? It's all right, it's all right. But I hope it's not going to be one of your usual blank promises that at the end you won't come back home. Okay, okay. Yes, I'm expecting both of you. Really, I cannot wait to see you people. I can't wait, I can't wait. Yes, my dear. Is that right? Bye. Huh? My princess. No matter how sour and the quantity of his brown wine, he will not carry it to the market to go and sell. He will keep it right there in his house and be drinking it, drinking it, <laughs> drinking it until he finish. <laughs> you know him, now? Nah? I remember him. I remember. That was the day he finished all his brown wine and slept in the gutter. <laughs> oh, yes. He's your neighbor. He's your neighbor. Ah, my love. Hey, what can I pop on my love? You're back. I know you don't have hair on your head, but at least I know you have ears and you can hear. What are you still doing loitering around my father's compound? Uh, my, my love, calm down. Eh? There's no cause for you being angry. I only came to see your father regarding my intentions of marrying you, mm. <laughs> like I told you before. <laughs> you know something, eh? I've come to love you. <laughs> you yes, I like your zeal. <laughs> I like your push. 
Hold your ears. Yeah. Yeah, it's part of the way I love people. Hold it. As you <laughs> now hold it. As you are holding that ears, make sure you hold it wide enough to hear what I'm going to say. Tochuku, I am not interested. I am shouting it now. I am not interested. Do you want me to sound it into your thick skull? Eh? You want me to pound it into your thick skull? Papa, 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 Biko, Biko, just stay out of this. This one does not concern you at all. It is none of your business. Please, as for you, take your low life, poverty stricken self out of my father's compound. Now. Okay, listen. Oh, okay, okay, I'll be listening. Okay, I'll see you. Leave this place. Leave, leave. Leave, leave. poverty Obia Geli! Obia Geli! What is it? What is it? Obia Geli, why do you treat such a fine young man in that manner? Obia Geli, what is wrong with you? Eh? You keep you keep rejecting throngs of suitors that always come your way. Obia Geli, let me ask you. Don't you want to get married? Look, the life of a woman is like a clock. Eh? You better make your choice right now. The same way my mother made her choice right away and ended up with a total failure and disaster like you. Eh? That is what you want from me, Abi. Obi Ageli, let me hear what you just said now. Papa, you heard me right. I wasn't carrying water in my mouth when I said it. And there is nothing I said here that is not true. I saw you, the way you were leeching on my mother. Now I'm nearly following her up. That is what you want to do to me. It will not work. You are a shameless man, Papa. The only thing you do in this house is to sit down, eat a you drink water, and you wait for me to go out there and walk and come back. You have the right to open your mouth and choose a suitor for me. You will die in poverty, Papa. For you to choose a man like that as my husband that doesn't have a future, you will die in poverty. You saw the business that you used for me to Anyone. That poverty stricken bastard. Why nuance Hey! Obiageli! To talk to me like that? Ah! Ah! Good morning. Uh, 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 you one. Uh, when they name me, they me in dream. And I remember that I have you. I will stay strong and face them. <laughs> uh, are, you, are you prepared to go already? Papa, as you can see, I am prepared to go already. I'm leaving for work. I'll see you later. Uh, 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 have you forgotten what uh, what we talked about yesterday? What you promised? Uh, 
Papa, I can't remember anything. Please remind me. Uh, you promised me yesterday that you will give me the money I will contribute in the Council of Elders for Igwe's uh, Ofala Festival. Have you forgotten? Yes. <laughs> yesterday you promised me. I made that promise to you. Uh, How did I forget? Anyway, Papa, I cannot remember making any promise to you. Even if I made that promise to you, I will draw the promise right away. Why? Awesome, why? Do you want them to start mocking me in the Council of Elders for not being able to contribute my own quota for the Ofala? Ah. Good, Papa. Very, very good. Papa, you know you are the definition of poverty. Yeah. And you want me to marry the Ogakpatakpata of poverty here in Nigeria, in this village, Papa. No, let me ask you, where do you want me to get the money from? Where? You advised me to marry a poor man. Now you are asking me to bring money to you. Do I make money? Do I have a machine producing money inside the house? Papa, you see that shame? You will get it. You will get that shame in quantum. Your fellow elders will mock you. They will laugh at you. Same way you want people to laugh at me for marrying a poor man. Papa, God will go and walk. If you cannot walk, you give up yourself as sacrifice for ritual, Papa. Let me have a better life. Eh? Okay. Hey. What did I do wrong? Why should you give me such a stubborn girl as a daughter? Hey! I'm warm. If you want Hey! No, no, please. You, you cannot do this to us. I will do whatever I want. This is my house, and that is me kicking you and your brother out of this place. What, what, what have we done? Have you been paying me? We're barely six months here. Did Nam did not pay you? Eh? Where is the receipt? No, show me the receipt as evidence. Your stupid boyfriend paid for two months. And he pleaded with me that I should let you and your brother stay here for four months. Till date, I have not seen Namdi, your boyfriend. I have not seen my money. Or, oh, wait, do you think I, I, I don't take your organization? Please, I am begging you. I, I did not know he did not pay. And I didn't even ask him because he was in a hurry to travel. Please, just give me a little time. I, I, I will run around and get the money for you. But please, don't, don't, don't push us out. We don't have anywhere else to go. Please. Do I look like Father Christmas or Santa Claus? Eh? Is, is this charity home? I'm a businessman and I build this house with my head and money. And I don't do it with my money. Do you hear that? Sir. Okay, landlord. Please don't chase us away. We are more like children to you. Please, sir, give us more time. We will pay you. Mm. I, I will listen to, 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 to your plea on one condition. Hey. Thank you. Thank you so much. Any condition, I'm very sure we can stick to it until I'm able to pay. Thank uh, you. Mm. In that case, let's go to the other room and sort ourselves out and settle the matter arising. You know, you know what I mean. Uh, other room, I don't understand you. Let's go to room 306 and sort ourselves out. That's the only way you can stay here at eternity. I, I still don't get what you're saying. Are you a child? No, 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 no. So you want to tell me that you don't understand what matured man and woman do in room 306? Are you actually asking me to sleep with you? No, okay, my bed, Niger. Hey, you're wicked. You're very wicked. How can you open your mouth and ask me? To sleep with you. Ha! I cannot do such a shameful thing. Bow. In that case, take your uh, sh shameful self out of my shameful house. Now! Boys! 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 Boys!
Please, not fair. Please, not fair. I have a film, Charota. Please, don't do this. Because I have a Out! I am so sorry. What are you sorry about, sister? I couldn't protect you from all this. But you have not done anything wrong to me. Mom and dad are dead. And it is my job to make sure that you're safe. Sister, I am safe with you. Not like this. Eh? Not like this. Honestly, maybe I should have done it. I should have just done it. Don't worry. God forbid. You mean you should have done what that stupid man was asking of? At least we'll still have a roof over our heads. Until we make some money. Sister, there is no way I would have allowed you to do that. That man is evil. Yes. I'm happy the way you refused him. Sister, you know I'm always proud of you. But now things have turned out to be this way. Where are we going from here? The only place where we don't have to deal with landlords. Our father's house. In the village? Mm-hmm. Ah. Sister, do you think that's the right thing to do? We don't have any other choice. At least we have enough money that will take us down to the village. When we get there, we start looking for what to do to feed ourselves since we don't have to think about accommodation anymore. Hmm? So just drink up. So enter the bus. Sit down here, eh? Wait for me. Let me quickly rush to Uncle's place and collect the keys. Okay. I'm coming now. Oh God, come to my rescue. 
You are welcome once again, my children. Thank you. What you have experienced in Lagos, it is better reported as fiction than reality. But it's a good thing that two of you have decided to come back home. This is your father's house. Here is your home. Feel free. No one has the right to chase away from your father's house. But if you need anything, anything at all you may need, do not hesitate to let me know. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you very much, Uncle. Honestly, <laughs> Uncle, it is so liberating to know that we can count on you. Oh, anytime, any day. Huh? My children, you're welcome. Um, let me run along. There's a meeting at the palace, and you know, our king does not let late come in. Hmm? Okay. And yeah. um, Uncle, thank you so much. You're welcome, my dear. We really appreciate everything. It's hmm? okay. And thank you for coming. It's thank okay. you. Uh -huh. Lest I forget, try and find time to go and see the king. At least let him know that you are around. You know, the king is your late father's best friend. And I know you'll be glad to render any form of assistance that you may need. Okay, Uncle. Uh, we'll make our time to see him, sir. It's okay, my dear. I should be on my way now. Okay. Right, Thank you. Thank Take you. care of yourself, eh? Thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming. Welcome. Honestly, in our last meeting with the governor, you know what the governor said? That we should go back to our respective uh, kingdoms and announce to every male adult that everyone should be paying five five thousand naira. Eh? Your Majesty, how can that be? You... Okay, my king. What is it? My king, I made a special delicacy for you. I'm very certain you will like it. Oh my king, you broke into my discussion with a respected Elder of my cabinet, just to talk about food. Are you all right? Is, is, is anything wrong with you? Um, my king, I, I'm sorry. You've been seated here for a long time, and I, I thought you'd be hungry by now. So I, I made the food, and I, I thought it's wise to come and to tell you about it, Your Highness. Never allow this nonsense to repeat itself. Do you hear me? Yes, Your Highness. Now get out. If you go. I'm sorry, my king. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Just don't mind her. But, Your Majesty, come to think of it. 5,000 naira for every working adult. Don't you think it's too much? That's what he said, but we all opposed it. We opposed it. Yeah. And where, where, where are they going to get this money? <laughs> Jane, mm -hmm. you needed to have been there to see how she embarrassed herself before the king. <laughs> that serves her right. I don't even know what is wrong with that of Yageli in this palace. Eh? It's over Sabi now. Over Sabi is her second name. Yet, she's good at nothing. All she knows how to do is to pock nose everywhere. Pock nose it. <laughs> <laughs> My sister. Eww. How's you know? Hmm. Make you know the drag me drama husband. <laughs> and what is that supposed to mean? And what is what supposed to mean? <laughs> you think I don't know what you both are doing, right? Or you think I don't understand back language? You bring up gossip, flip it like coin, and you think I won't understand what you're saying. Anyway, I don't have time for rubbish, because that is the only thing both of you are good at. But we were not talking about you, madam. <laughs> Shut up, small rat. You think I'm concerned about what you two are talking about? I'm not. You two should be concerned about your future in this palace. Because very soon, I mean very, very soon, I will become the queen of this land. And when that happens, you both should not be here. <laughs> Nonsense and ingredients without condom. <laughs> Queen. Queen. <laughs> Queen. Queen of beer. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, no. Your food is ready. Okay. Like you did not perceive the aroma, you. <laughs> um, have you been able to think of any business we can do? Mm. I've been thinking, but every business I try to figure out requires huge capital to set up. We don't have money. So any capital intensive business is out of the question completely. Sister, hmm? what if we cook and sell? Food? Yes. Ah. Sister, you know, you cook very well. Dad, Always rush home just to make sure he eats your food. <laughs> I can remember when dad missed an important meeting just because he was waiting for your food. <laughs> you this boy. So you remember all that? Those are good memories. I will not forget in a hurry. Those were good old days. I wish, I wish I can, I can have that and mom don't. back. Just don't do it, it's fine. Please don't do that. Sister, they shouldn't have died. I know, I know. But don't worry, we will pull through, okay? I promise you that. Um, here, just open your mouth. <sighs> what you suggested is actually very nice, very, very good. I'm sure people around here won't mind good food. And it's also not capital intensive, so... I will think about it. Huh? It will work. Okay. It's fine. Just eat. Okay? Open, open, open. Uh -huh. I, I miss mom and dad. I just... But they shouldn't have died. They shouldn't have died at all. Look at the way we are suffering. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Give me meat. What a wicked world. She more I think it's ready to see you now. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you. Ah. 
Please sit down. Thank you. Sit down. Okay. My goodness. Adora. You have grown so big and your beauty is irresistible. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Well, Thank you. Uh, I can understand how horrible it has been losing your parents, your both parents at their prime. How have you been? It's been tough. But God has been kind to us. Um, have you had anything since you came in? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> we, uh, we've had drinks. Just drink? What is the meaning of this? Obege? Your Highness. Why would you just give them drink in my palace? Don't you know who they are to me? Uh, uh, please, <laughs> Your Majesty. It's not her fault. We are actually okay with it. Uh, and we ate before coming, sir. You had to eat before coming to my palace? Eh? Don't you know whose house you are coming to? I'm sorry, Your Highness. Uh, but <laughs> we're now in the village. So I'm very sure there will be plenty of time for us to eat and marry, sir. Mm. Anyway, you're always welcome once again. I am very sorry that I was unable to grace your parents' burial ceremony. I had a health challenge and uh, it needed urgent attention. I had to travel out. We know, sir. Um, it's fine. Um, you were not around, but even in your absence, we saw what you did. You actually showed us that you're really our father's friend. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to show our appreciation to you. Your father was not just a friend. He was a good man. And I believe he could have done the same for me. So, there's nothing to beat about it. Hmm? Uh, so Your Majesty. How are you doing? I'm fine, Your Majesty. Good. What are the doctors saying about his eyes? It's a bit complicated, sir. Initially, they said he would be able to see again. Then they asked for money to commence the necessary surgery. Uh, but we haven't been able to come up with it, so that is where it stands now, sir. It's okay. It's okay. Um, now that you are around, I will call my doctors to look into his case and see what will come of it. And then from there, we will pick it up. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you, sir. Ha! <sighs> hmm. uh, Your Majesty, what of the princess? I've not seen her in ages. <laughs> you are right, Adora. You are right. The princess is fine, and she is now in London. Uh, she called me sometime last week, informing me that she will be back home soon. Ha! Yes. That would be nice. I can't wait to see her. Ah, uh, yes, I know. You were together as kids. <laughs> yes. That is so true, sir. Yes. And I really miss her. I am very sure she misses you more. Yes. The cloud has come back again. Chimo, you know, the one MM. Oh, be a bawamo, oh, be a tiwamo. 
Timoi nos iponeme Obe ama o amor Obe a ti o amor No verse. I go serve everybody, yeah? How many hours I want to for you? Thank you so much. Yeah. Next time I'll come again. Your food sweet. Please come another. Mm. I'll put plenty food. Hey, thank you. Thank you, okay? I bet I put big meats there. Not be all those guys say they do like that. I have rice, I have apple, I have garlic, I have stew, everything is here. Okay. Like I have Hey! Your mom is too much. Hey! Really? Hey! Yes, so. Ah. I never knew we could make such an amount in just one day. Just one day, oh. You hey. see, sister, I suggested for this. Now you, you can see the result. You did, oh. You did, my brother. Eh? Ah. See the way they were rushing our food as if they have not eaten in a year. I trust my sister's food. It's only my sister's food can make men lose their senses. Hmm. You, okay. you are just like your father. You are just like your father. Hey! Uh -huh. God willing, we will make more than this tomorrow. Eh? Anyway. Thank you. Thank you. Madam, water. I didn't drink the water. Hey, hey, customer, customer, come now. You know you say you come today and uh, patronize me. I, I have a bow. I woman that is this here. Thank you so much, yeah. Thank you so much. God bless you. But I won't go away if it happens. No, 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 customer. No, 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 Yeah. 
Não faz não! Mas não faz, não faz, não faz não! Now the person who can do the thing, where you perform, you get that customer as well. You can wear no a papa girlfriend, that they call auntie. I go try to say I believe what I said. Shall see. Where is now? Who you want, sir? Anyone, anyone. I put a rose to move. Come now, come now. Come fast, now, come fast. Come now. So how much is it? Fourteen thousand five hundred and fifty naira. Wow. So if you remove the cost of everything we spent, which is six thousand five hundred and fifty, we'll now be left with eight thousand naira. <laughs> yes. Eight thousand naira. See? Wow. Our profit margin is growing. <laughs> that means very soon we'll get a better space and fix it well. Yes. I also want to save so that we can pay for your soju. Sister, the king has promised to help. You cannot just depend on that. Remember, mom and dad always taught us never to depend on man. Hmm? I remember. But I'm happy now. <laughs> I know. And trust me, it will only get better. Amen. Hmm? Uh, so, I've set aside some money for us to pay our tithe. On Sunday, we'll go to the altar and drop it off. Hmm? Okay, that's fine. Hey! 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 
Sergeant Edozie, and that is my colleague, Corporal Emeka, from the Divisional Headquarters. You are under arrest, Adora. For what? Food poisoning. You poisoned the food that you sold at the market. And as we speak, two men that ate your food are dead. And some are even critically ill in the hospital. Evil woman! Hey! You did! They just died like that. They chose to die. Liar! You liar! Take her away. Hey! Take her away. Don't do anything! I don't do anything! Hey! Officer, please! 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 This is mother case. Amarachi, what happened? Some policemen, they came here and took away my sister. What did she do? I don't know, I don't know. My sister is innocent. Please, what do you Amara. want me to do? Amara, I need your help, please. Men came here and took my sister away. And what did she do? Oh, I don't know. They said that the food she sold to some persons was poison and they died. What? Calm down. Uncle, my sister is innocent. Calm down. She cannot do a thing like that. Okay. Now come down to us. Where did they take her to? I heard them say they are taking her to the regional police station. Just for the last eh? I will go there straight away. Okay? Let me go. Uncle. Uncle, please. Uncle, please. Can I go with you, please? No, no, Jinosu. No, please. Calm down. Don't worry, I can handle it. Eh? Just calm down. Amara, can you keep in company till I return? Okay, Mazi, I will. Jinosu. See, Amara here. She's your friend. 
She will keep it because she will be with you. Whatever you need, she will get it for you. Yes, I will. Eh? Okay, cool. So let me leave your man. Oh, come. Come down. Come down. Please promise me that you will come down with my sister. I will do my very best to bring her back. Yeah? Things are going to be fine. Yeah? Things are going to be fine. As long as your sister is innocent, she will come back here. My, my sister is innocent. Then God will bring her. Sure. Come back. Oh, we'll be fine. Just come and sit. My sister is innocent. I know, I know. She will come back. My sister is innocent, Amara. I know what I'm saying. She will come back. Trust me. Are you allowed to say the truth? Can you say the truth? Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Madam, are you ready to tell us the truth now? <laughs> Say something now! What truth? What else do you want me to say? Who gave you the poison? And why? you everything. Nobody gave me any poison. I did not collect any poison from anybody. I don't even know what a, a poisonous substance looked like. No thief will ever admit that he has stolen before. Madam, I suggest that you save yourself this humiliation and tell us the truth now! Unless you just want me to lie. I don't have anything to say. Officer, this woman is a hardened criminal. We need to torture her. Can you say the truth now? Yes. 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 I am not hungry. But you are the one that asked me to make the food for you. I've lost appetite. Is it because of your sister? Look, calm down. I've told you not to worry yourself. She will be released. Look, you need food to stay strong. Very soon you fall ill if you don't eat. Oh, welcome, Mazi. Hey. Uncle, are you back? Yes. Hey. Hi. Uncle, you're back. Uncle, where is my sister? Did she come with you? Sit down. Sit down. I, I, I don't name. Are you here? She's not here. Huh? Sit. Sit. She's not here. Uncle, why? Uncle, where is my sister? Sit down. What happened? Why didn't you come back with my sister? Her case is a complicated one. The accusation is heavy too. Oh, I know very well. My sister is innocent. I wish they would believe that she didn't do it. I never said she did it. But how did the person get into the food that she said? Maybe if I had my sight, I would have been in a better position to answer this. Then who did? Uncle, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, my sister is innocent. My sister coming back, I'm good. <laughs> We have just three minutes. Three minutes. Sister. I missed you. 
so much. I've really missed you so much. I've missed you too. How are you? Life, life has not been well without you. I know. Uncle. All I want is the truth. The truth is even sounding like a lie to my ears. Why? Because nobody believes me. Nobody. Okay, tell me. Did you do it? Uncle. You know me. You know what I can do. There's no way I'll poison my customers. It's not possible. Besides, all of us ate from the same cooler on that day, so I really do not understand what is going on. This is strange. I don't fight him with anyone. Uncle, I don't even know my way around the village, so how can I be fighting with someone? My dear, I believe you and I will do my best to make sure you do not suffer for a crime you do not commit. It's a promise. Thank you. Remember what I always tell you. Everything will be fine. Okay? Everything will be fine. Just be strong as the man that you are. Okay? I'll try my best. I, I can't wait to see you at home. Okay, your time is over. Um, move. What is that? Oh, yeah, move, move, move. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Go this way. It's okay. Your time is over. It's okay. I want to stay here. It's okay. Please. Move. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Move. It's okay. 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 The cloud has turned dark and day. Chimo, you know, the one in them. Oh, be a bawam, oh, be a tiwam. Chimo, you know, the one in me. Oh, be a bawam, oh, be a tiwam. Just mention it to me. My kid. You talked with Abuja last week. Meaning what? Don't you have my phone number? Why didn't you give me a call? 
I am so sorry, my king. I have never heard or seen anything like this before. Please, my king, you can help her. Please help us out. What is her crime? Give me a She was accused of poisoning the food that she sells to customers. Poison food? What is the meaning of that? Yes, she hawks food. Adora hawks food? My king, if you know my niece very, very well, you understand that she stiff necked sometimes. I even tried to stop her, but she refused. And again, my king, I learned that they want to transfer the case to the state's headquarters. Please, my king, don't let that happen. Please help her out. By the way, why did you allow her indulge in such a demeaning business? Ah, my king, it's not my fault. Though. I tried to stop her. I even tried to stop that business, but she refused. Please, ah, that, my niece is stubborn. She's stubborn, please. Hmm. Please, help her, my king. Please, you can do something. It's all right, it's all right. It's all right. Sebastian. Sebastian. Your Majesty. Get the State Police Commissioner of Police online. He owes me a favor. That's what Your Majesty. Ah. The poor girl has suffered in the home. Here, Your Majesty. God will save us. Holy Moses. Where they carry this one from here? See, she comes here mosquito everywhere. I bet she up. You do what you do, come here, they pray. That God will save us. Adore our cosmos. Who can do our cosmos? Adore our cosmos. Now you. Come with me. Oops. I am so sorry for the torture you went through in the hands of the police officers. I should have come for your rescue earlier enough. You came at the right time, my king. Thank you so much. Thank you for bringing me out. It's within my powers. Your father would have done the same for me. Yes. I but am sure he's so happy wherever he is, sure. seeing how kind you are to his children. It's Thank okay. you. I, I don't understand why you resorted to such degrading business. Your Highness, I, I, I needed to do something to, to feed myself and my brother. If you had needed money or any form of assistance, you should have come to me. You had a lot. You had a lot then. And I just felt that bringing my personal problems to you would just be adding more loads on your head. No. No, 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 no. Nothing is too much for me to handle here and around. Nothing. If you need anything, again, do not hesitate to call me, okay? Meanwhile, I will ask my... It's okay. It's okay. Oh. How did poison enter that cooler? Who could have done this to me? Who 
did I offend? Is it Veronica? Because she's the only one who has openly showed her dislike towards me since I started selling in that market. If that is the case, how did she do it? How? How? Hey. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Who are you? Um, my name is Amarachi. And you must be Auntie Adora. Actually, no, so I've been saying a lot about you. Oh. Chinozo. Are you his friend? Yes, I am. I heard what happened. <sighs> it's fine. At least I'm here now. Thank God. Um, so, you want to see him? Yes. He's at the backyard. Okay, thank you. Oginika Mirendo wa 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 When I thought yeah, If you like, run your saucy mouth the way you want to run it But that doesn't really change the fact that I still remain the king's favorite Listen, let me advise you it is better you start treating me like the queen that I am. Mm -hmm. Else, you might end up regretting it. Mm -hmm. And why should we do that? Because I am getting married to the king very, very soon. And nothing on earth will change that. Mm -hmm. Yes, so you mm -hmm. better treat me like one. Oh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Are you still living in a fool's paradise? <laughs> The king is way out of your league. And if I may advise you, cut your clothes according to the length of your material. Wait, wait, wait. Give me your advice. You. <laughs> anyway, I am not going to idle myself with a bunch of lazy youths like you. I am just going to sit down here, give you instruction on what to do in this kitchen. And you better carry out the chores I'm going to tell you right now. Don't touch me. I should not touch you. Listen, whether you like it or not, I am still the head of the maids in this palace. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you to do something, you mm -hmm. do it. Do what? Mm -hmm. You don't do anything. requested my presence yes I want you to go to the starch house get some food stuff take some money 200,000 naira and send it to Adora when you get there tell her that I want to see her that will be all oh, okay my king Um, my, my king, if you're hungry, I can make something delicious for you. I mean, I could go to the kitchen and make something really, really nice for you immediately. Obiageli, I just gave you an instruction that you should carry out first before any other thing. You are here telling me to eat or not to eat. Get out! Sorry, my king. Oginika Mirendo wa 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 When I thought the storm is over Why would the king ask me to take food stuff to that girl and also request that she sees him later? What does the king want with that riffraff? I hope it is not what I am thinking. I 
hope it is not my imagination playing a wild card on me. Because if my thought turns out to be true, I will not take it. Hey, you take it easy now. I drive carefully. Am I the road? I can't you see the road is bad. Which road? Uh, my fly. I know there's no fly on this car. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, God, it's still you. The king asked me to give it to you. Chimo! He gave us this one too! Hey! Hey, Imba! Just stretch your hand. Chi? Hmm? Stretch your hand. Hey! What you're touching is money. Not small money. One thousand. Two bundles. Jesus. Calculate it. We just go. Calculate. The king is very nice. Hey! He is. He is. Oh. Hey. Wow. God bless the king for us. Amen. No. Honestly, eh? I lack words. I don't even know what to say. Hey. But please, eh, when you get to the palace, tell him that we are grateful. Thank him for us. You know, go. As DHL. No, your messenger. When you see him, you tell him that yourself. Why? The king said he wants to see you later today. So you can pass your message to him when you see him. I hope there's no problem. Why would you be asking me? How would I know if there's a problem or not? Because when you see him, you ask him. Okay, now take me out of this place. This is not what's wrong. Seafood, bag of rice. In fact, G, we will never be hungry again. Amen. You see this food, eh? It will last us like three. What is three? Five years. Amen. We have not finished eating it. Amen. Le cuego. Le cuego. Le cuego. Eh? I have not seen this amount of money in recent times. But just look at. We spend it wisely. God bless the king. Just we spend it small, small. Five years, he has not finished. Please. Is the king aware I am here? And I told you before that the king has more important people to attend to. Can you please remind him that I'm still here? And may I remind you that no one prompts the king. Oh, greetings, my king. Good afternoon, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Ah, sit down. Thank you, sir. Have you been here for too long? 
Not exactly, sir. All right. Have you had anything to take? Uh, I'm fine, sir. Sure? Yes, sir. Uh, Obiageli? Your Majesty. Excuse us. My king. Are you deaf? Oh, not at all, my king. I would, um, excuse you, sir. Um, I thought, uh, you know, what are you doing up here? Um, nothing. Nothing. Mm. But I saw you is dropping on the king. What sort of stupid talk is that? Don't be ridiculous. Why would I spy on the king? I saw you spying on the king. Are you denying it or what? Well, it is not my fault that you have a bad eyes. Stupid monkey. You're not sleeping. I just can't sleep. Are you thinking about your meeting with the king earlier today? Uh -huh. Now, are you ready to tell me what you discussed with him? The king asked me to marry him. What? Now you know. Well, what did you tell him? What should I have told him? No, of course. There is no way I'm going to marry that man that is old enough to be my father. It's not possible. But why are you? Exactly the question I asked. And the worst part is that he's insisting. So, what are we going to do now? Shall never cease to happen. So, this is your mission to this village, Adora. To steal the crop that I've taken my time to cultivate. It will never happen. Moki no go work finish, Babu go call shopper. No way. Why would I be, why would I be the one of all people that the king will want to marry? It means there is something you must have done to hypnotize him. Because the king that I know, that I've said for years, can never condescend that low. Mm -mm. I must get to the bottom of this. No sense.
How are you? I'm good. How are you? Get the things down from me. Uh, yeah, go, okay, yeah, go. Be fast about it. Good. Uh, well, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. You can see. This is for real. What's going on here? I know you must have missed this. Missing this. Missing it is understatement. Mm. I died. And I woke up actually. Wow. Okay, let's. Come on, son. What's that? Where are your manners? Where's your fiance? Oh, Judy. Judy? Judy! Yeah? Come in, Guru. Why do you always have to do this? Do what? Must I wait for you? Of course. That's what men do. They wait. Whatever. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Dad. It's okay. Whatever. Oh, come on. Please. Hold on. Hold on, son. Oh. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. Heavenly Father, we thank you for making this possible. We thank you for your provision. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for joining mercies in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ooh. Wow. Come on, let's do it. Good. Mm. Hey. Yeah, the arrow. Do your job. Can't you, can't you, can't you dish the food that is in front of you? Right in front of you. Are you that lazy? Someone was paid to do the job. Meaning? Mom, isn't that right? Yes, of course. My dear, please, go ahead and dish the food. Must you, must you, must you do that? Must you? What is the problem now? Why are you picking me out? See, you better respect yourself. <coughs> Do you understand? <coughs> you two, I believe, will be tired of this trust. Why not just enjoy your food? Then you can get enough rest. <coughs> What's the meaning of this? Is there garlic in this food? Yes. Idiot! Why you fool? Why did you ask me? I told this guy me! Stop! Do you have to do that? Huh? Is she the one that cooked the food? So how is she supposed to know that you're allergic to garlic? Huh? Can you take me sides with her, Namdi? Whatever. Do you know what? Eat it! I'm eating it already. All of it! That's food! That's the only thing you know how to do! I'm doing Eat it! it. Yeah, I'm eating it. I just lost my appetite. Good yes. night, Mom. Good night, Dad. Better. Uh, come from there. Come, 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 Judy, why are you so troublesome? Why? Hmm? Hmm? Me? Troublesome? No, Namdi, really. I am troublesome. A stupid steward girl tried to poison me with garlic and I reacted. All of a sudden, I am troublesome. But she wasn't the one who cooked the food. She cooked all she served. What difference? And you? Instead of you to stand up for my defense, what did you do? You supported her instead and made me look stupid before your parents and that dirty swine. See, Judy, I just finished eating hmm? and I enjoyed that delicious meal so much. Right now, I'm full. Hmm? So, I need to go in there, restroom, and spend a long time. Okay? 
and not even spending a short time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to allow me go in there and do what I have to do right now. Do you get me? Excuse me. Let me get your hands off me. Judy, you won't like what will happen here right now. I don't care. like it. Like I care. Oh go my on. God, you don't, you don't really understand. Judy, I'm full. I have to use the restroom right now. Excuse me. Nandi. Judy, it's actually coming out. You might not survive it, Judy. I am telling you the truth. Excuse me, please. Nandi. Oh! oh. I, I, I told you. You're so disgusting. But, but I said it before now. I told you. Judy, come on. Oh. Fruity, that is what you are. Yeah, I told you. So enjoy it. Hey, you slut. Why are you calling my man? Are you not tired of selling yourself so cheaply to a man who will never be interested in you? Why? Oh. Oh. Why did you lie to me this morning? Lie to you? Yes. Oh. No, the let go of me. You're hurting me. Hurting you? You've not seen anything yet. No, <laughs> let go of her. What has come over you? Um, do you know what she did? I don't care whatever she must have done to you. You don't just grab a woman like that, especially when she's a princess. Mom, she picked oh. my call. And? And embarrassed my caller. When I asked her, she said, I did not pick your call. Is that what happened, Judy? No, Mom. The person kept calling, so I had to pick the call. I asked her to call back. But she kept pestering the phone. I was upset. All I did was told her to get a life. Just that. Really? Liar. You're such a big liar. <laughs> Mom, I feel like she's calling me a liar. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey. That your crook right here will not work here. Do you hear me? Stop it. Stop it. Please. I'll, I'll, I'll just slap the hell out of you now. Silly. Good evening, my love. How are you? Your Highness, please. You can't address me like that. It's not proper. But you know that I have always loved you. From your teenage years. Hmm? 
With all due respect, I cannot marry you. Why? Because you're like a father to me. And the princess has been my childhood friend. But the princess will not have a problem with this. Except that you promised her that you will never marry another wife so that you can keep the memory of her mother aglow. What do you intend to do about that? <laughs> Adora, I am the king. I can do and undo. I can say and unsay. Yes, you can. But you don't have to spoil everything you worked for just because you have the power to do so. So please, your highness, please, I cannot marry you. Adora, you are refusing the king that has done everything to make you happy. <sighs> your highness, thank you so much for everything you have ever done for me. Thank you. I really appreciate them. But I cannot marry you. Sorry. Mm. Adora. Adora, why are you doing this? God. Your Excellency. Okay. So we are meeting tomorrow. I'll be there. Good day, Your Majesty. Good day, Okano. Sit down. Thank you. Uh, How did it go? Your Majesty. I thought I could use my influence as her uncle to make her serious. All my effort proves abortive. Why would any young woman in her right senses refuse a king's juicy offer? It baffles me. She couldn't even give it a second thought. No one refuses a king's offer. What the king wants, he gets. Your Majesty, I think she needs time. She's a woman. She's only trying to be the woman that she is. Again. What is it? I said, what is it? My king, I noticed that you have been unhappy. I, I just came to keep you warm and to make you happy as well, my king. Have you taken any of the wine in the wine's bar? No, 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 my king, not at all. I'm hundred percent fine. My king, I love you. I just want to be with you. I just want you to... Shut up! What I want you to do now is to get hold of yourself. Then you go to the kitchen and do the cooking that you are being employed for. And if you are tired of the job, you let me know so that I can replace you. Obiageli, are you tired? No, my king, I'm, I'm not tired. 
I still want to work with you, my king. Let me pretend that this never happened. As long as you are not going to repeat it. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes. No, out! I said get out! You have to listen to me, Adora. Uncle, I've been listening to you. But it doesn't seem you've been listening to me. It seems you've been paying a deaf ear. Um, uh, Uncle, please. Let us not flog a dead horse here. What are you even talking about? So, you want me to marry someone that old? How? My dear, your reason is childish. Now, let me tell you. A man is as old as he thinks, not as old as he looks. And besides, our king is still very strong. My dear, this is an opportunity for you to better your life and that of your brother. Eh? Stop looking at the king age. Age is just but a number. Fine. It's okay, uncle. I, I, I've heard. I'll think about it. <laughs> you think about it? You are talking, my dear. But if you want to think, think very, very fast. Ne, Ogadru Sukwa. Ogadru. I've heard you. Thank you, my dear. You've done well. I think I can go now. Won't you eat? No, next time I will eat. Yes. Okay, my dear. Take care of yourself, eh? Adada. Adada. Hey! Thank you very much. Adora this, Adora that, Adora that. Who do you think you are? What is the problem now? Oh, you want to know what the problem is? I don't like you. Eh. <laughs> it's no secret. I noticed from the very first day. <laughs> and it is not my fault that you hate me for no reason. Uh -huh. There's a reason, no? A very simple reason. And I want you to put it in your head. Stay away from my business. And I know you know who my business is in this Please, kingdom. Just save your breath. Hmm? I don't have any business with your business. <laughs> I got a weep. Hey, hey. Look, no, no. You're speaking grammar for me. Mwah. You think you can intimidate me with English? Oh, I see. I am educated. I went to school. How about this uniform? I am very, very well learned. So, I'm talking about I have not finished saying what I want to say. You will wait for me to finish before you move. Stay away from my business. I will not say it again. I will not say it again. Stay away from my business. Last warning. Lele. I don't get feeling funny. If you go around and mind your business, that means mind my business. If I, if, I, if I will break your leg, everything I worked so hard, worked so hard, I built with my power. Everything you want to come and take. Leukuya. Nonsense, nonsense and ingredients without condiments. Very useless girl. Eh?
What are these for? The king asked me to get this item for you. Please, without sounding disrespectful, you have to take them back to the king. But why? We don't need them. We're fine. I beg your pardon? Are you sure about this? Yes. We're fine. We don't need them. Please, just take them back. Please, take them back. I beg you, take them back. Oh, it's okay. I should get it. Oh, no, Allah. What is it here, you know? You mean I should tell the king? I, I should. Okay. Do I tell the king that I will not marry him? I will not marry him. Ha! Oh. Leave the king. How did it go? She rejected the offer, my king. What? Yes, my king. I miss you more, my princess. You are welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Thank you. My son, yeah, how are you? I'm fine, Your Majesty. Good. And you, sir, how are you, sir? I thank God. Both of you are welcome to your father's land. Thank you, Your Majesty. Yes. Daddy, I must say you haven't changed a bit since the last time you were in the UK. How can I change? when you taught me how to eat right and i've been applying it uh, your majesty so she has finally succeeded in turning you into a vegetarian yes she did and i'm i feel healthy very very healthy yes um how is your father oh your majesty he's fine and your mother she's also doing well your majesty good and how is the kingdom? Oh, everything is under control. Yes. I trust your kingship. <laughs> <laughs> your Highness, 
My princess, sir, banquet is served. Just at the right time. Please, let's go over to the dining. <laughs> ah. You're welcome, my princess. Thank you. You're not ready yet. Ready for what? You've got to be kidding me. I called and told you that you'll be going to Munamko to inspect the project at site. Oh, that. Oh, that. As in, it's not important or what? Namdi, why do you like making trouble? Why? Oh, I'm not the one making trouble. Why I called you two hours ago to tell you this? Just for me to come back and still see you in your nightgown. What is wrong with you? Can we please leave this for another day? I am tired. Besides, I need to change my hair. You need to change your hair. Hair that you changed three days ago. You still want to change your hair. Nanu says I can have a change of hair every day. You, 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 you're just, you, oh God, you, uh, Yeah, what's up? Okay, I'll be there in uh, 15 minutes. It's okay. I'm not done with you yet. Good morning. Good greetings, sir. How are you? Fine, sir. Greetings, my princess. Greetings to you, oh, Obiagili. Yes, Obiagili. <laughs> How are you, my princess? I'm very well, thank you. Um, I hope you enjoyed the meal yesterday. Yes, I did. You made that? Yes, I did, my princess. My culinary skills are intercontinental. Oh, that's impressive. Thank you, my princess. Um, I, I came to tell you that if you need anything, just anything, I'm here to serve you. Just call on me, I'll be here. <laughs> That's a thoughtful of you. Thank you, my princess. Thank you. <laughs> speaking about that, um, I'd love to change my hair. Can you take me to somewhere nice? Oh, I have a very good salon I'll take you to. You would love it, ma'am. You would love it. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Okay, my princess. Um, breakfast will be served in 10 minutes. All right. Are you all right? Yes. Welcome. Thank you. I mean, good morning. Iju, Iju, Abu, Obonye Kanga Koro, Agama Koro, Abu, Agama Koro. The cloud has turned dark and day. Chimo, you know, the one name. Oh, be a power, oh, be a tiwa. Chimo, you know, the one name. Oh, be a power, oh, be a tiwa. Oh, I'll see you again. Let's 
sit down. I rely on you. Ogini kam mirifa, aja chuari mo. Ogini kam mirendo wa. Mireru e la manu mo. Mireru e. It's ten in the morning, right? Go to. I'm gonna get this pump. If we rush, safe. We can even complete the farmers' own that same tomorrow. That is more money for us now. Sister, is that not too much? As long as we make money, we need the money. Hmm? Okay. So we will try. If it works, fine. If it doesn't work, Uncle, uh, don't come in. Get, get back to yourself. Okay. I think it is not anything that's making to misbehave. Adora, stop eating it. Stop eating or not. Let me ask you, what is your problem, Adora? What have I done? What have you not done? What have you not done, Adora? You were given an opportunity to eat and dine on the king's table. What did you do? You prefer to eat on a bare floor. As if that is not enough, you have decided to drag the entire family along with you. I do not have you no shame. An opportunity every right thinking woman will jump up and grab without thinking twice. Rather, you prefer to walk the entire village, walking in people's farms. I do not want a shame. Uh, uh, uncle, but it's not for long now, eh? We just want to make enough money and start another business. You, you just look at yourself. The king would have given you more than enough money to start up something good. I mean, a better business. And you might even rule with him as a queen of this great kingdom. How dare you prefer Peter Liv, Olubo, to honey? I mean, to sweet honey. I don't, I don't, I don't know if you... Uh... Uncle, there is dignity in labor. Leave it like that for me. In fact, uncle... I am not marrying the king. Period. Dignity in labor, you said. Adora. No. Your poor parents will be so ashamed of you wherever they are. Adora, let me ask you a question. Even if you don't know what is happening to you, why not ask the gods to reveal them to you? So at least you at least, Adora, you can live a good life. You can better life of this family. Ha! Huh? Adora. Adora. Very disgrace. Has it gone? Sister? No, 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 don't Judy! Uh -uh. My queen! My princess! Come here, come here, come here. How is the family, oh, my dear? Ha, the family is fine. Can sit down, can sit down. Take a seat. Sit down. And you're welcome. You're looking fine. Wow. Ha! You're welcome once again. Queen. Princess, how are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, the princess insisted on visiting her friend. That is why we are here. That's good. That's good. Thank you. Princess, where is the superman you promised me? Oh, I forgot. I promise I will bring it next visit. Uh, that reminds me, where is your husband? My husband traveled to Lagos yesterday. Who police war? Everything is fine. And how is the king? The king is doing great. He actually sent his greetings. 
Ah, thank you. Mom, I want to take Princess to my room. Ha, ah, that's adorable, my daughter. You can show her your room. I was preparing something in the kitchen before you came. Let me go and check it so that we'll eat together. Thanks so bad. Just wait, I'm coming. Us, so. mm. Yeah, it's me. Also, eh? how are you? Auntie Judy, good day. Good day to you too. Why are you both dressed like this? And why is Nosu with a stick? Is he blind? It's a long story. Look, I have all the time, okay? Come in, let's go to the house. Eh? Yes, let's go. No young woman in her prime ought to experience what you just told me. I am sorry I was not here for you. It's okay. <laughs> there is nothing you would have done. You wouldn't have turned back the hands of time. And you wouldn't have brought my parents back. So, it's fine. It's okay. I know. But I would have done something to stop the suffering that comes with losing both parents. I'm sorry. Enough of me. What about you? What has been happening with you? And how is Yuki? I am fine, as you can see. And Yuki was fine when I left. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you going back soon? Not permanently. Oh. After my wedding, I intend to stay back and establish my business. <laughs> Did you just say wedding? Mm -hmm. So, there's a wedding to plan? Yes. <laughs> I am so happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, this is good. <laughs> I hope I'm going to see him very soon. <laughs> Not so. Auntie Judy. How are you? Uh, Auntie Judy, I'm fine. How are you doing as well? I'm doing great. And uh, you both cannot go back to the streets and continue all jobs. It is risky. Whatever the challenge is, I am sure it can be sorted out. Okay? Don't worry. All will be well now. <sighs> Sister, I'm even tired of that girl. Very hey, good. Let me do Wahala. Wahala is everywhere. Don't start. And what are you two yellow monkeys talking about? I don't understand. Everything. Are we accountable to you in this palace? Oh, must we take permission for you before saying a word? Again, what? Mbobuni, they bo, they be unuka kawa. Always putting your neck. Well, I know what has been going on in this palace. 
I know you two have been gossiping me in this palace, tarnishing my image, and telling whoever cares to listen that the king embarrassed me. But you see that mouth you've been using to peddle fake news about me. God will punish it. Stop there, Begeli. Huh? Who do you think you are in this palace? In case you've forgotten, let me remind you. You are a maiden like us. Yes, so. And don't begin to see yourself like the madam here. Mm. Because you're not. And you will never be. Ah, shut up. Uh, repetition machine. She talk, you answer. Anyway, I don't have your time. Because you two are jobless. Mm. Unknown palace mates. Mm. Just, just, just look at her. Just imagine. Hey! Okay. Just wah every day. I mean, I'm sick of this girl. I'm tired of her, please. Ah. Dad. My dear. I didn't believe that things could get so bad for Chief Cosmos' children. To the point that they had to resort to working for people in their farms. What? Why would she do a thing like that? When I have told her to meet me for whatever she needs. Yes, my dear, I did. Yeah. Why would she choose to go and work for other people in the farm? Huh? Why? Dad, may I ask for a favor? Go ahead, my dear. I want you also to come stay with us for a while so our doctor can look into his case. Sure. Sure. I don't have a problem with that. Let him come. Thank you, Dad. Thank you so much. I'm going to miss you. I know. And I will miss you too. Don't worry, I will always be coming to see you. Okay? Come no on, you too. Not like Nosu is traveling out. He's going to the palace. And the palace is an hour drive from here. You don't have to blame me. I'm not used to letting him out of my sight, you know. I understand. But you know he is safe with me, right? Of course I know. That is why I'm even allowing him go with you in the first place. So relax, you'll be fine. Okay. I'll be coming every time. In fact, sometimes I'll even come two times <laughs> in a day. You will not miss me, you see. Mm, make sure you eat. Yeah. Yeah. Take it. What is it for? You can use it to start a business of your choice. Just use it for anything. Oh. This is too much. <laughs> you mommy. <laughs> this can't even get me a dollar here. Please just manage it. Hey. It's nothing. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Sister, thank you very much. God bless you, Auntie Judy. I bless you too. Let's go. Can we go now? Okay. Come and see you. I will not even allow you miss me. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's anti duty you're going with, so you'll be fine. Okay. Eh? Oh, wow. Thank you. Just go. Uh, give me the stick. Give okay. me the stick. Okay, raise your leg. Raise your leg. Don't worry. Just raise your leg. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Hi. God bless you. 
my God will bless you. It's okay. You will prosper beyond your imagination. Amen. God bless you. Oh. Yes, Please take care of yourself. I will. Have I? So who is the lucky one? I don't know yet. But I think she's from this kingdom. I can't wait. The palace is long overdue for a queen. And I pray she treats us right you now. And I hope so. Can we go? I really hope so. So after my stern warning to that stupid girl, she still went ahead to accept the king to the point that they are planning a secret wedding. Never over my dead body will Adora get married to the king. Never. I can't wait to go back to my hotel room. I've been so stressed for the past three days now. I wonder why you insist we stay in that hotel for three days when there are more than capable hands to handle that project. If I tell you the amount of fraud I uncovered in just three days, you tell me to take over the company myself. You mean the engineer have been siphoning money? Yes. That was why my father asked me to come down to see things myself. So what are you going to do now? Uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that not Adora? Adora in the city? Adora. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Ada? Adora? Ada, please. Please wait. I can explain to you. Don't come close to me. Ada, please wait. Don't do it! Ada, let me explain. Don't even think of it! Ada, don't do this now. Please listen to me, Ada. Ada? Ada? Adora? Ada, please. Please listen to me, Ada. Ada! Yeah, I know. You do? 
Yes, I've met her before. So I'll take you there. Okay. There you go. Bro, we are looking for one young lady. She's not that tall, just average in height, and not uh, too fair, just chocolate. She's dark, I think. No, that is not dark now, that is chocolate. Okay. Huh? Her name is Adora. Adora, Adora. Uh, no, I don't think I've seen that face before, and that name doesn't sound familiar. But I've seen her around this place before. I'm sorry, this is a village and people can come in at any time, you know. Sorry, you maybe you can check the next street. You know, there is a road behind this thing. So if you check, you will see what I'm talking about. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, have a nice day. Thank you. Hey, I cannot believe this. Look at you. Looking so healthy. Ha! Have you been eating? <laughs> no, don't worry. Just tell me. What have you been eating? Hey? Um, sister, Auntie Judy has been feeding me very well. Hi. Judy. Judy. Yes. I hope you're not planning to block his head with plenty of food. <laughs> no, no. No, I just want him to be healthy. Hey, you have done so well. Honestly, just look at him. Less than one week, and he has changed so much. Hey, God will bless you. Oh, thank you. God will bless you for me. Oh, come on. What are friends for? Mm. As if you don't know that it's not all friends that can do this. You know now. Eh? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I've missed you. Every second. Oh, it's fine. Princess, the doctor is here. That's fine. Um, it's time for the doctor to see him. Eh? Yeah. Oh, come. Okay. Come and lead him. It's fine. I'll wait for you here. Eh? I'm sorry. Okay. Um, hold on. Auntie Judy. Yes. Thank you for all you've done for us. You're welcome. Judy, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. I'll be back. Thank you. Good afternoon, my king. Good afternoon, my queen. Yes, I am right. I thought you would have forgotten this by now. When a man is after the heart of a good woman, he will not stop singing because she says no to him. I, I believe one day you will say yes to me. You yes. sound so confident, my king, even at your age. That is why I am the king. That is why I am the commander in chief. And that is why I am the ruler of this kingdom. Yes. <laughs> My queen. <laughs> ah. 
Sorry, sit down, sit down, my queen. Sit down. <sighs> my queen, my queen. I don't know how to thank you at all. Just look at the way you took care of my brother. Eh? <laughs> I can barely recognize him. <laughs> Child, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, how to bless you. But it's okay. You've thanked me like a million times now. It's fine. <laughs> Just get used to it because I'll keep thanking and thanking you. You're uh -uh. welcome. <laughs> this is your own. The palace belongs to you as much as it is mine. So you're welcome anytime, any day. Sister. Mm -hmm. I, I am going to miss you. And I'll be coming to visit you from time to time. Hmm. Okay? I'll just miss you. Hey, I'm drop off. Sister. Oh. Why are you going? Stop, stop, hmm. stop, stop. It's fine. I'll always be here. Okay? okay. You guys want me to be jealous now. <laughs> Thank you. You're Ooh. welcome. Thank you so much. See you soon. Okay. Has she gone? Yes.
Babe, what's up? Are you okay? You've been moody. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. No, you're not. You've been moody since you came back from the sites. Are you still upset I didn't go with you? Come on, babe. I was not feeling fine. Besides, we just came into town after I teach just joining from Lagos. I needed to relax and get me back into fitness. Hmm? Hello? What's up? Oh, really? Okay, I'm coming. I will run into you right now. Okay. Um, babe, I have to go now. Why? We just got here. Yeah, I got an urgent call, so I have to go now. I'll see you later, okay? Okay? What? Namdi! I'll see you. Did, did you just walk out on me? Um, I've sent you 800,000 for two years' rent. Yeah, I received it. You received it, huh? Yeah, I just received it. That's good. Um, I'm going to be out of the country for some time, so please make sure they are fine. You have nothing to worry about. My company is secure for them. So what about the receipt? Oh, I forgot. You know, I was rushing to meet up, so I... But trust me, I will prepare the receipt. Okay, try and get the receipt ready and give it to Adora. Make sure she gets it. Trust me, I will do just that. It's okay, thank you so much. I love you. Have a nice day. Thanks. <laughs> What are you doing, man? Are you sure you know what you are doing? I started a relationship with her before I traveled. So what about Judy? Yes, what about her? You are really not asking me that, are you? I don't know. Seriously, I don't know. You what? What do, you, what do you mean you don't know? Oh, I see. This could prove to me that you are going to cause a great damage to her. Then she shouldn't have bothered helping me out to locate her. So you are not blaming me, right? You are not blaming me for showing you a house. Ask her. See. There is no problem. Ask her. Ask her. I am old <laughs> enough and too intelligent to know what I want from a woman. Okay? It's been long overdue between Ada and I. <laughs> From the way I'm seeing it, there is a great storm coming. And I have to start preparing my international passport to travel. Because it will not happen in my prison. Please, can you just drive me? I don't get to see you. What is going on? You know I've been busy. Busy with what exactly? Hmm? You and I came here for one thing and that is to see my father. That you haven't done since we got here. So what exactly have been keeping you busy? I don't know why you always look for trouble when it's not necessary. Huh? It's not that I've left the village without seeing your father. So what's the fuse all about? There is absolutely nothing to be worried about just yet. He might be busy, like he said. You mean to tell me men around here could get so busy not to remember there's a woman lying next to him? I think so. 
He hasn't even touched me for this, and it's one like him. That guy is a maniac. Wow. I can imagine. Stop getting ideas, will you? Oh, no, my princess, I am not. I'm just saying you shouldn't be bothered just yet. He might still come around. It's okay. You should get us already. We are going out to see the doctor. Okay, my princess, I will. Amara, ha. how are you? I'm fine. Where have you been? I traveled. Is you? And you didn't even bother to tell us. <laughs> eh? Do you know Nonso has been asking after you? I'm sorry. Um, I traveled in a hurry. My elder sister gave birth to a baby boy. Oh. So I went there to stay with them, pending on when my mother arrives. Ah, this is good news. Thanks. I'm so happy for you. Thank uh -uh. you. Ha. Um, how is Nonso? How is he doing? He's fine. He now stays in the palace. My friend, the princess, took him there to spend some time with her. That's nice. Okay. And I'm very sure you miss him so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go! I know. <laughs> Good afternoon. The princess requires your attention at the palace, urgently. I hope there's no problem. I don't know, ma. Okay. Uh, tell her I'll be there soon. Okay, ma. Thank you. I don't understand though. <laughs> it's really strange that the princess will send a card to me instead of calling me on the phone. I think maybe she's trying your line, but it's not going through. You know the network of this our village. Okay, um, um please, I have food on the fire. Okay. Just take care of it for me. No huh? problem. Let me. Check out the king's chambers. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Make sure you got her very well. My, my king, you're 
scared me. Father, I am surprised to see you in my inner chamber. Have you agreed to marry me now? No, 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 no. I came to look for Judy. Uh, uh, it's obvious she's not here, so I have to go now. Excuse me. I've been waiting for an opportunity like this. And I believe you came here today on a purpose. No? No, 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 please. Did you see my brother and the princess? Oh yes, they went out. They went out. So that's the story. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle, you're so funny. That is the story. <laughs> you know what? Um, I think the food is ready. Let me go dish out some for you. Okay. So when I come back, you can continue telling me the okay. story. You know what? I know. Food and story. They go together. Yeah, you come again. I'm coming. Okay. Let me go get it. You fast, eh? Okay. I'm coming, no. I'm waiting. Oh, what a beautiful day. Mm, I'm Wait, did I not ask you, what are you doing in my house? I thought I told you to stay away from my house. What's up, baby? No, 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 no. Don't even try it. What are you doing here? I came to see you. That's right. Sister, welcome. Thank you, my dear. Amma, what is this? Why are you giving him my food? Sister. I... Hmm. And you? Hmm? Did you come here to see me or you came here to eat? Good. I came to see you. I deserve to be eating while I wait for you. When you're done eating, find your way out of my house. Mm. Mm. Um, who made this food? I made it myself. Mm. Yes. Ay, so sweet, so delicious. Thank you. Mm. Um, let me go get water for you. And more meat. Mm? No problem. For more story. No problem. Come. What do you really want from me? I want you. I waited for you. I waited for you until I started having a rethink. What makes you think I am available? Or that I am still single. Or that I even want you as much as you want me. What makes you think that? Love. When I look into your eyes, I see love. Real love coming out from your heart. I know you still love me, just like as I do. 
so why don't you give me a chance to make it right to you? How do I know that you will not take me halfway into the lake and abandon me there again? Just one more chance to show you how real I am this time around. Hello? Yes. I called you. You asked me to come to the palace and I did. I searched everywhere for you. I didn't find you there. Eh? What? You didn't send for... This is strange. Um, oh, um, okay, uh, I heard you went to the doctors with Jin also. Really? Oh, thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Yes, it's fine. I'll call you back. Yes, I'll call you back. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. It's my friend, Princess Judy. Princess Judy? Yes, you know her. Oh yeah, yeah, who doesn't know Princess Judy, the only daughter of the king? That's correct. Okay, I have to run now. Uh, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Sebastian, my king. Go inside my inner chamber. Get the file that contains the agreement between this kingdom and our foreign partners. Yes, my king. And barrister, my king. Uh, what I want you to do is to go through the documents and find out the clause that will be detrimental to us. All right, my king. Okay. Uh, how is your family? Everybody's fine, my king. Thank you very much. My king, I cannot find it, my king. What? What do you mean that you cannot find it? I, I searched everywhere, my king. I but can't it's there in my safe. It's not there, my king. What about the foreign currencies in that safe? My king, the safe box is empty. Empty? Yes, my king. Hey! Assemble everyone in this palace, now! By the way, my king. My foreign currencies. I, for one, thought our paths will not cross again. What do you want? Well, we have a warrant to search this house for the king's missing documents and dollar bills. The king's documents and dollar bills are missing and you came to search for them here? How? The statistics for the last two days' visitors to the king's palace shows that you're the last visitor before the documents got missing. You can go and search. Go, no, go and search because I'm very sure you will not find anything there. Thank you very much. Officer, please go. I just hope they don't find anything inside. Hey, 
Hey, money! Money, Lola! Hey! Madam, what did you see? There is no way you could have found this in there! There is no way! Because I, I did not take anything! Madam! I, I did not take Madam. anything! You are under arrest for breaking into the king's palace and stealing his documents and dollar bills. You have the right to remain silent. Whatever you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. Why will I remain silent? I did not take anything! You couldn't have found this there! I did not take What a wicked world. The cloud has turned back again. Talk to me and save yourself from this inhuman treatment. You are just inflicting pains on me for nothing. For no reason. I did not take the king's documents. I did not take his money. That is what you said the last time you were here. And remember you were here for food poisoning. And up till date, it hasn't been proven whether you are innocent or not. And now you have done the same evil to a man who would have been able to save you from this mess. The king is like a father to me. There's no way, there's no way I could have stolen from him. Believe me, I did not do it. I did not. Do you have a penchant for being on the wrong side of life? Now listen to me, woman. I am born being lenient with you. If you don't tell me who sent you, if you don't tell me the truth now, I will get it out in my own way. I am innocent. I am innocent. I can see that you are testing my patience. Officer, oh. get me the electric iron. Hey, no, Fast! No, please, please, I am begging you, don't even... Are do you it. ready to confess? I did not do it. You are not serious. Oh, unless you want me to I lie. Will. See. Dad, please hold on. It's Adora we are talking about. Are you sure she really took the documents and money? I believe she did. Because she has committed a crime that could have landed her in jail. But I used my influence to save her from rotting in jail. That same girl has the temerity to steal from me after all that I did for her. Please calm down, Daddy. I will go to the police station and find out from her if she really did. Do whatever. But I promise you, she must pay for it. She must pay for insulting me and desecrating my palace. Yes! <laughs> I want you to tell me the truth. All of it. Remember, we've been friends since we were kids. Did you steal from my dad? Like you rightly said. We have been friends since we were toddlers. So there's no point lying to you. I did not steal from the king. Why would I even do that? Why? Then who did? Who? Because I was told you were in my father's room. 
What did you go there to do? To look for you. To look for me. Hello? I know it might sound stupid, but that is the truth. One of your guards came to the house and said he wanted to see me. On getting to the palace, I was told you were in the king's chamber. So I went there. <laughs> On getting there. Mm -hmm. Continue. What happened? My king, you scared me. Father, I am surprised to see you in my inner chamber. Have you agreed to marry me now? No, 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 no. I came to look for Judy. Uh, uh, it's obvious she's not here, so I have to go now. Excuse me. I've been waiting for an opportunity like this. And I believe you came here today on a purpose. No. No. No, 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 please. No. My kid, please stop. Stop. No. Stop. No. No. Adora and stubbornness. Wait. You want me to believe that you went into my dad's room in search of me. And on getting there, my father, the king, tried to rape you. Is that your story? Yes. Not only that. He has been asking me to marry him for a while now, and I refused. Who knows? This might be his way of getting back at me for, for, for refusing his proposal. Stop it. Are you stupid? Are you sick? How dare you drag my father, the king, into your pettiness and lies? My father is an honorable man, can never condescend that low to asking you to be his wife. What can you possibly offer him? If he needed a woman, he knows a suitable class to get one. You know what? I will not sit here and listen to your voice. My dad was right about you. You're nothing but a thief. And I hope you rot in here. To my rescue, I rely on you. Ogini kam mirindo, aja chori mo. Ogini kam mirindo wa. Princess, you knew she said that. She did. Look, I know my dad. He can never condescend that low. My princess, it's not about your damn condescending law. It's about what she said. Imagine people hearing about this. This girl has beaten more than she can chew. <coughs> My princess, you have to do something about it or you don't have to take it lightly. She dare not. If she decides to continue with such nonsense, then I will deal with her in my own way. Where's her brother? The blind boy is upstairs. Pack his miserable things. 
I need him out of this palace immediately. Immediately, my princess. This is good. Very good. Mm. Adora. <laughs> Where am I? Sir. Where is my sister? Amara. Yes. Amara, where is my sister? She went out. She went out? Mm. Where did she go? She went out. She'll be back soon, okay? I'm so glad to see you. Amara, mm? are you sure she's going to come back? She will. I'm so glad to see you. Come, let's go inside. Okay. Where are we? You're at home. Okay, been gone. Where have you gone been? She's been gone for so long. Can you help me get her out? Do you want your father to fry me? That girl is innocent. Then tell the king. Yes, because I know you two are in good relationship. Except you don't want him to know that you are involved. Am I right? Now that you figured it out with Mr. Smart, can you now help me get her out? Namde, it's difficult. Yes, it's hard for me. I know, I know, but you see, you're the best attorney here. And that's why my father has you in his bedroom. And you want to kick me out from eating the money? Come on, bro, come on. You know I got you back. Come on, help me out, please. Um, you know what? I'll see what I can do. But please, don't mention my name in there. Please. By accusing her falsely. Is that what you want to me, O'Connor, to go and tell the king? I came to Adora severally, persuading her to accept the king's offer. What did she do? She made me look like a stupid man for trying to push her into prosperity. Rather, she preferred to, to steal from the same man she rejected. I hear that talking to me. I know my sister very well. She can't do a thing like that. She's not a thief. 
Theodora, you used to know when you had your sight, is no longer the same. Do not vouch for her. Um, uncle, please, if not for anything, do it for their father who was your brother. My dear, all I think I can do for them, I have done it all. But it's like my best is not good enough. They are cost. So I can't continue wasting my time on them. I don't know about you. If you work it out, then ma. Or then ma. How can you say anything like that? We are not cost. We can never be. Get out of my house now. Ma, see this one. Okay, everything will be fine, trust me. My sister is innocent. And you know it. Everybody knows that my sister is innocent. Why is my uncle behaving like this? It's okay. God will make you way. It's okay, let's go. My sister is So, how are you feeling now? I'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything you did for me. Thank you. Just that I, I don't understand what is going on. It's just from one problem to the other. I I I I'm I'm, I'm I, I don't understand. It's okay. Stop talking too much, okay? You'll be fine. I promise you. It's just a matter of time. You'll be fine, okay? Okay. What of Chinoso? Oh, Chinoso, Chinoso is fine. It's fine. <sighs> you know, he'll be pleased to know that you're out of detention. I will let him know. Yeah. Okay, um, let me go tell the hotel about your food. Hmm? I'll be back. I... I love you. I love you too. Okay. What do you mean that the case has been transferred? You transferred the case without my consent, I the accuser, and you just allow the accused move on like that. That my case has been transferred to the state headquarters. Who gave the order? I said, who gave the order? DPO. Hello? Ha! Dad, what did he say? That my case has been transferred to the state headquarters without my consent. I, the accuser. And he just allowed the accused to move on like that. Can you imagine? Are you suspecting she was released and taken somewhere? Even my lawyer thinks so. 
Who could have done that? Who? Dad, please don't stress. The most important thing is that you got back your documents and nothing happened to your dollar bills. She can go to her for all I care. staring at me. Doesn't matter. I can stare at you a whole day. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, let me go get your food. Is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah. We're good. Okay. Let me go. Catch your foot. Hmm? Get the damn cold. My princess, your food is served. I'm not hungry. You were the one who asked me to serve the food, remember? And I also have the right to change my mind! Like a fugitive when I've done nothing. I need to go home. I want you to stay a little more. No, 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 no. The more I stay, the more it seems like I committed a crime. Besides, I need to go and see my brother. So, it's either you take me home or I find my way home. Either way, I am going home today. I have to go home. Let me take you home. Thank you. Thank you. What? Is that not Nandi? The princess's fiance. Cherubudu. Is that not Adora? Yeah. Eh. What are they doing in the hotel? Says, I know this is hard to believe, but what I am telling you is the truth. I'm not lying. Of course it is. Do you even know the person you're talking about? My princess, I saw them. I saw them coming out of the hotel premises. I know what I'm saying, my princess. 
How is that even possible? These two don't even know each other. They haven't even met. Okay, my princess, if you don't believe me, at least this will convince you. Take a look at this, my princess. made call to tell me that you that you fainted. So what this happened? is all I needed to get your attention. Judy, why? Why? Where have you been and why have you not been taking my calls? I, I told you that I've been... Busy? Busy releasing Adora from the police cell or busy sleeping with her in the hotel? Which of the busyness should I accept? Should I accept both? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so you think I would not know? Is that what that idiotic man of yours told you? Judy, what are you talking about? Okay. Fine. No problem. But please. Can you explain this to me? Surprised? Namdi, how dare you? So it is true. You're the mystery man that released her from the cell. Explain this. Hey, you dirty swine! Nobody, how dare you? Oh. So you've been sleeping with my friend all this while? Calm, I, I can explain this to you, okay? No, oh, oh, shut up! Oh, Get out! Oh, Get out! Oh. Oh. Get out! Get out! Right about you. You're nothing but a thief and a murderer. Wait. What have I done to deserve this name calling? What have you not done, you ungrateful dimbats? So after stealing from my dad, you decided to extend it to me by stealing my man? Judy, which man did I steal from you? Look at her. Oh, just look at her, pretending not to know what I'm talking about. Uh, um, Judy, please. It will do us a favor if you just tell me who I stole from you. Because I don't understand this at all. Are you the only fool around here that does not know that Namdi is my fiance? Are you? Namdi? Which Namdi are you talking about? The same Namdi you've been sleeping with in the hotel. I have a friend by the name Namdi. But I am very sure he's not the one you're referring to. You are such an ingrate. After everything I have done for you and this sick frustrated brother of yours, this is how you chose to pay me? Dora, this will not all go well with you. I will so deal with you that you will wish you were dead. Get ready, for you are yet to see the worst of me. Thief. Sister, 
为要为。Sister, sister. How dare he? How dare he come down with my daughter's hands? Daddy, I feel betrayed. Hi. How can my best friend and fiancé be having an affair? What did I ever do wrong to deserve this? What? You have done nothing wrong, my daughter. I will not allow anyone to humiliate you. Not now. Not tomorrow. Not ever. I will talk to his father. This nonsense got to stop. Sebastian! You wicked man. When are you going to tell me? No, when are you going to tell me that you're engaged to my friend? I am not engaged to her. I am not. You are planning a wedding with my friend and you still roped me in. Are you not wicked? I never knew that both of you were friends. I hate you. I hate you for breaking my heart again. I hate you because I asked you. I asked you if you were real this time and you said yes. I am, I am real. I am real. The, the, the feelings I have for you still the same. I don't want to see you again. No, I don't say this. I don't want to see you ever again. Please don't say this again. Ada. Ada, stop. Stop this now. Ada. Adora. Hi. Hey. Yes, Dad. What has come over you? Have you lost your senses? Dad, see, I... Shut up and let me speak. Do I need to re-educate you about the relationship between myself and you? And why you must not do anything stupid to jeopardize it? Dad, I know all that, but... But me not. You know what both families benefit from this relationship? And I don't need to tell you what I will do to you should you decide out of stupidity to jeopardize that relationship. This madness must end. And now, and wherever that girl is that is causing this unnecessary grief, you must do away with her immediately. Dad, why must you say it like that? I have said it. And if you want to try my resolve, I will show you what I do to erratic people like you. Mom, please, please, please.
So after all I did for that useless girl and her brother, all she could do was to steal my man. I am the daughter of a king. No subject of mine can humiliate me and live to tell the story. Adora. Adora! What did I tell you the last time? Unamdi, what did I tell you the last time? What are you still doing here? What are you doing here My again? Love, please calm down, okay? Let's talk this over. Talk, Guinea! We don't have anything to talk about. In fact, we don't even have anything in common. Just get out of my house. Get out of my house now, oh! Please, please. please. Oh! You don't want to go. You will not go up, yeah? You want to see what I will do? Eh? Just wait. Wait! Haven't you done enough? Eh? Haven't you done enough? What more do you want? Please, I would advise you start going. Because if she comes out this way, you won't like her. You're still here! Yeah. My love, don't do this. You're still here! You're still here. Chinese. Eh. You better leave by the time I get back here. Because if I come out again, you will not like what I'll do again. Capo. Are you sure? What's wrong? She's fine, she just threw up. Are you sure? Yes. Let's go. But yeah, the way we did it before. One. Are you sure she's fine? She's fine, trust me. She's okay. I am going back to London. This, this whole thing, this whole exercise was a terrible mistake. Calm down. Calm down yourself, my daughter. Calm down. Dad, did you say I should calm down? Calm down. That idiot said it to my face that he does not love me. He prefers that stupid and ungrateful girl. It's okay. I have spoken to his father. And he Dad, I don't care. I am no longer interested. You can force a horse to the stream, but you cannot force it to drink from it. 
you or his father cannot force Raymond to marry me. And I would never play a second fiddle to that stupid girl. Get him done. when you called to say that we're in my hotel. I thought you said you never wanted to see me again. I still do not want to see you again. So why did you call me? What is this? You're pregnant. That is what the test says. But don't get any ideas because I am not having any child with you. So what do you want to do? About my child? I hope you're not thinking of that. Are you? you want me to do? I'm not going to let you do that. I only came to inform you. Don't come to look for me. interested in the marriage mom because i was never interested mom this 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 thing about all this marriage arrangement was never my plan yes judy and i couldn't just stay one day without fighting each other mom i can't live like that i can't i can see i can say that that girl has really gotten into you whatever she must have done to you to make you sound this foolish It's too late anyway. What did you just say? She's pregnant for me. What did you just say? Yes. And she's not going to abort it. Nandi, why? Nandi, what have you done? Mom, mom, stop, stop, stop. Why, Nandi, stop, 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 stop. Why? 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 Mom, stop. Hey, what the boy? Bam, bam, bam. It's okay. Stop crying. Hey. It's okay. Man. Stop crying. <laughs> Come on, sit down. Don't no, worry. Don't, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. What is it? She knows so and Amara have been adopted. How? How did it happen? I came back. I did not meet any of them in the house. Then somebody told me that she heard screams. And by the time she got here, she saw a car zooming out and caught a glimpse of them inside the car. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
God. Who could have done a thing like that? Just one way to find out. Please, take care of her for me, okay? I'll be back. Where are you going to? Go and come first. Why, Judy? Why? Why what? Do you have to abduct Adora's brother and the friend just to show how angry you are? I don't know what you're talking about. Judy, please. I know you're responsible for that abduction. Okay? I've come to plead with you to release them. Your crutch is not with them but with me. Please. Nandi, you're wasting my time. I have a flight to catch. Judy? Have a beautiful life. To launch a search party, and I'm going to foot the bills. What about the police? I met the police on my way here. They will launch an investigation into the case. Hey! How? Are you please take mm -mm. it. What have I gotten my brother into? What has he done? Why he watching us so? Watching us so? Hey! It's been one week since the search party investigation. But nothing tangible has been done about it. Not even a clue of their whereabouts. What about the police? The police, uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, talk of the devil. Hello? Yeah, talk to me. Um, the boy and the girl have been found in your luggage. Oh, it, it, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'll, uh, I'll be there right, right away. It's okay. Who was that? The police. And? They don't know their whereabouts yet. Hi! Please don't cry, okay? Hi. I know they're not dead. And hmm. if that is the case, we're going to find them. Okay? Chino so and Amara do not deserve this. No, they don't. They don't at all. I know all these things are happening because of me. That's why we need to be close to each other. How? You're carrying my child. 
And I don't want us to give birth to this child out of wedlock. I never told you I wanted to keep the child. You never said you wanted to abort it, either. Babe. I know I must have caused you a lot of pain. But I promise you I must find a way to make things right, okay? I'm sorry. It's all right. Yes. Sit down. Um, uh, my king, I, I hope there's no problem. Not at all. Okay. Sorry, my king, I hope I haven't erred in any way. On the contrary, you have been the most diligent and sacrificial servant in this palace. You are loyal and honest to me. And that has not gone unnoticed. Thank you very much, my king. I pledge to serve you, and I will continue to serve you. Hmm. Do you have any money in your life? Um, my king, I, I don't understand. Okay. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Not at all, my king. I, I don't have a boyfriend. I have never known any man in my life. No man has ever... I, I don't have a boyfriend, my king. How would you feel if I make you my wife? Um, if the king is asking if I will be happy, sad or over the moon, I, I'll pick the letter, my king. Is that a yes for an answer? In that case, I will tell the elders to find a befitting time to go to your family to conduct or carry out your marriage rights. Thank you. Thank you so much, my king. Thank you, thank you. My king, you're my life, my hope. You're my future, you're my past, you're my present. You're my, you're my everything, my king. Thank you, thank you so much. I, my king, I promise to serve you for the rest of my life. I will save you as your servant, your, your queen. Your, your, I'll save you as your brother. Your, no, I mean your queen. Thank you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you, my king. Thank you. Thanks. My servant. Yes. How are you two doing? How dare you refer to us as your slaves? Seriously, Bimini. You are taking this fantasy of yours too far. And we cannot condone your attitude anymore in this palace. And if you continue like this, I will report it to the king myself. And if you continue like this, I will report it to the king myself. 
<laughs> she says she wants to report me to my dear husband. Hmm. <laughs> husband. Indeed. Oh, well, um, you can laugh for all I can. I'll just ignore you. I'll let it slide. You know why? Because I'm here and you are there. But you see, the king is my husband. And there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, hi. The king requests your presence. Sorry, what did you say again? I, I, I didn't hear you. Your Majesty, the King requests your presence. Please tell my dear husband that I will be with him in a jiffy. Yes, <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you like the sound of that? I'll make this clear. I will definitely be the queen of this land. And you too will serve me. Get back to work. That's it. My husband sends for me. This is too close. What's going on? It doesn't look real. But it's like we are dreaming. Did you just hear the guard refer to her as Your Majesty? It's not possible. It's not. Let's not be what I'm thinking. Of. The king wants to see you. How stupid and uncultured of you. First you barge into my room and you can't even address me properly. Do you know exactly who I am in this palace? I'm sorry. Huh? You're sorry. You better be. And let me warn you. The next time you display such timidity, you find yourself leaving this palace. Take your little self out of my sight and tell the king I'll be with him shortly. Get out. Okay. <laughs> what impetus? Sorry, my king. What is your relationship with this guard? No, nothing, my king, aside um aside working relationship. You're a liar. You're a very big liar. Tell the king the truth. What's all that truth again now? What truth? That we're having an affair. What a Jesus! Kina, why are you lying? What have I done to you? Why are you lying? He's lying. I'm like, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Who's lying? You are, why, who is Kina, lying? I know you are lying. I'm like, 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 i am she asked me to make you hate and despise Adora. Then she will marry me. She gave me a document and money to hide in Adara's house. She made me kidnap Adara's brother. You mean you kidnapped my nephew? You idiot! Where's him now? I took them to the bush on her instruction. I don't know what happened later. Did you kill them? I 
I was told you wanted to see me. Oh, be my love. Uh, just but wouldn't break her bang. Stop it. I hope you weren't looking for me because of this this nonsense you're talking about right now. Obi, I have come to tell you that I've met some good plans that will make both of us fulfilled in future. Yeah. It is good though. Very good, Nam. Yes. Very, very good. Yes. Don't you want to know what the plans are? Don't I want to know what plans are? Yes. <laughs> Ikena, does it look like I am concerned about anything that concerns you? I'm asking you, does it look like I am concerned about anything that concerns you? Ikena, what's going on? What's going on, Maggie? Eh? Hey, Obi, you are the one harassing me with your love. See, don't mind that we're here. In future, my glory eh, will confuse you. Why? See, I'm serious. I love you. And see, that is why I want you by my side when that time comes. You want me by your side? Yes. As what now? See, Obi, I want you to be by, at my side as my wife. My wife. <laughs> you, you, you want me to be by your side when that time comes? I want you to be by my side when that time Look at the way your mouth is dancing. Obviously, you don't even know what you want. Be true to God, I swear. Ah, shut up! Human beings are swearing. You want one name, you are coming out to swear. What is wrong with you, Kenna? Don't you have eyes? You cannot differentiate bad from good. Eh? You cannot look at me now. Eh? Just Nekodu Mania, look at me. Look at me. Just Nekodu Mania. Are we in the same class? Again, am I your mate in any way? I am the king's handmaid. I am for the king. I am for the rich, the classy people. I am not in your level, Kenna. Listen, if you want to get married to any of these palace mates, uh -huh, that is your problem. I can even point the right direction for you. But you see, Obiagili, no road. Uza, Don't you ever call me out to tell me this nonsense again. Idiot. And, and listen, the next time, the next time you waste my time like this, you will not like me. You won't like my person. I don't know what is deceiving you. You think you are a cross. You don't know your mates. Obi, please come. Who can I? Obi, please. Hey. My God.
Kuna. I will not see us. You are still sleeping. The king wants to see us right away. The king wants to see us yeah. at this time of the night. Hold on. D did I just hear you say night? <laughs> this is morning. You're a liar. What is the time? Okay, now this is. 9.50 a.m. What? Are you serious? Simon, are you okay? Oh I my god. What's wrong with you? <gasps> so, you deceived me and made me stay all night in vain, eh? What? what who, who deceived you? Who are you talking about? Kenna, what's wrong with you? Never mind. Just go, I'm coming. Are you okay? I said you should go. I'm coming. Alright. Don't just keep the king waiting. Don't go without me. I'm coming, eh? Abigari, you think you are smart. You don't know what is coming to you. I mean, soon. By the time I'm done with you, Is one of the seven wonders of the planet. Oh my god. You know, you have really done nothing in this palace. Aside chasing me around like a dog on heat. Anyway, darling, I have come to satisfy your sexual fantasies. Oh my god. I must be dreaming honestly. <laughs> I must be dreaming, definitely. Oh no, darling, you are not dreaming. Well, if you are, you should wake up from that slumber and come and take me to cloud nine. Come here. I should go. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for a <laughs> precious moment like this. Oh, come on. Go away for your precious. What are you I'm waiting? I'm coming, baby. Obi, I'm coming. Obi, yeah. Oh, come on, try this. Come on, try this. Take it easy. Baby. Um, stop. Baby, what is it? What is it? Are you abandoning me in the middle of the river, please? Wait. I just want to ask you. Hold on. I just want to ask you a question. What's this? Don't, I just ask me anything. What can you do to have my body? What can I do? I can do anything for you. Anything. You know I can do anything for you. Hobby, please. Over. You can do anything to have my body. Yes. I, I, I didn't hear you say it clearly. Can, you can. I can do anything. Anything. You want money? I'll give you money. No, oh, no, no. You don't have money, sir. So what do you want? Tell me what you want. You will do anything. I, I can kill somebody to have you. Oh, you can kill. Honestly. You can do just anything. I swear. Please. Hey, please. Hold on. Oh my God. Hold on. Oh my God, please. <laughs> please. Please. Please, you have me. So that was how Princess Ola became very famous all across the land and even beyond. She even did what able-bodied men couldn't do. She laid on slot against the people that threatened their existence. It's just a might, or what is called allegory in literature. It's not just a might, it's a real-life event. 
If it's not just the might as you claim, then why wasn't she crowned the king, since she's stronger than every other man in the land? For that same reason, women are not allowed to be president in this country. Hmm. I don't think that is the reason she wasn't crowned the king. Then what's the reason? Amara. Hmm? She wasn't crowned the king because... Hold that thought today. Let me go inside and check the food on fire. I'll be right back. You think you're smart? <laughs> I am very smart. I'm waiting for you. Come, come. Blind idiot, you go shut up here. Please, 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 beg me. Shut up. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. See you up, Gary. See, you are joking. You are not serious. Honestly. I am joking. Take a look at me, Kenna. Does it look like I'm joking? See, those guys are kids. And they are not your enemies for crying out loud. Oh. So tell me, are you going to do it or not? Or do you want me to instruct the other boys to do it? See, I didn't sign up for this. And I don't think I'm going to do it. I see. Obviously, you weren't listening to me when I told you exactly what I wanted. Because you were carried away by lust. But let me make this clear to you. Whether you do it or not, you are already involved. See, come, we can, we can talk this over. What have I gotten myself into? Eh? I promise this out of if you come Not that I'm serious. Hey, God, I'm finished. Ava, I claim. You know, sir, I, I, I need reason to use with that guy. Some boys go cash out. Ah, uh, Baba, ah, Twali. How about for you? I'm out of IBA. I'm going to see that guy. See this one, oh. Ah, better style. Baba, oh. Oh, boy. Put your eyes up. Oh. Who blind? No, they see. Boy, they see. You feel me? Yeah. No sleeping on bike. No sleeping ah, on bike. Baba, men on guard. Baba, men on guard. Not before this too small. They're not rich now. Come 
it. It is so. Hey you, why you look me? Why, 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 why you look me? I reserve your boyfriend for your eye. Come on. Nonsense. See this one, blind Bartimaeus. With the cost problem for the, for, for the town, I know you know. Eh? Yeah. For where? Come on, do it. 
，阿妈，阿妈。But I, I, I never got any feedback. My king, please. Please, I, I'm very sorry. I, I did everything because I wanted you badly. Please forgive me, my king. Please. Good. You say I should forgive you, right? Yes. I should forgive you for executing my friend's son? Is that what you're telling me to do for you? My king, it was the devil's handwork. Please, I. I am sorry, I, I didn't mean to do any of these things. Please, my king, please. Yes, I agree with you on that. It is the devil's handwork. And you are the devil. Yes. You. No, my king, I, I, I'm not. Please, I, I'm sorry. Sebastian. My king. Lock them up. Hi. I'm calling the police. By the way. Oh. My king. Hi, my king. Stand up. Move. My king. Move. Okay, open your eyes. <laughs> My God, Joy, you, ah, Lily. My God, I told you I never wanted any form of celebration. Baby, you never said anything. <laughs> I didn't even know what you want, so I just have to do something. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I love it. And I love you more. I love you too. <laughs> now, go ahead and make your wish. Anything. Anything in this world, just say it. Go ahead. Oh, 
<sighs> Come on. I wish that one day I will set eyes on my brother Chinonso again. I always see him in my dreams. And I believe he is still alive. And I also believe that one day I will see him again. And we say... Amen! That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay, let's make a toast. I am making a toast for my beautiful wife and my unborn child. Sweetheart, I am going to give you a gift, but it's not going to be money. It's not going to be car. And it's not going to be a house. Ah. Yes. <laughs> That gift is going to be an answered prayer. God has really answered your prayers through your wish. And I'm going to present to you right now no other person than Chinonso. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> you know, you look very good on this. Yes. This pregnancy suits my sister. You can see me. Very well. Ah. Says, you know, <clears throat> I've craved so much to behold your beauty once again. I'm happy it's happening on this special day of yours. <sighs> happy birthday to you, sister. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm happy to behold this beauty of yours. And all thanks to Uncle Nandi. He made it possible. How? Honey, how? Um, babe, if you can remember vividly well the day I was with you and the police people called, and I also told you that they said they've not been found. Yes. Remember? Yes. I lied. Yes, I lied. They actually told me that day that they've been found. And you didn't tell me. No, no, I, I wanted to protect them, so I have to take them away immediately and prepare the visa for Chinonso to go to Dubai for his surgery. <laughs> All thanks to God that everything went well. He's fine now. My <laughs> darling brother, I missed you so much. You too. I'm so happy to see you. I've missed you. I've missed you more. <laughs> happy birthday once again. Thank you. I've missed, missed you. I've missed you. Too. I've missed you. Too. <laughs> 
please. Please sit down. Sit down. Okay. Please. Okay. Please. okay. <laughs> And you hid this from me. I'm sorry, babe. I'm so sorry. It's just, just a necessary evil. Hmm? What is birthday celebration? Yeah. <laughs> and no one cares to be invited. Mom? Dad? You never told me you were coming. Because you both decided to blank us. No, no, mom, it's not like that. You never wanted to have anything to do with me or my choice of a wife. That's not true, son. Adora, how are you? I'm fine, ma. Anyway, your father and I have talked things over and have decided that we'll let bygones be bygone. Son, you know you have been a bad boy, don't you? Well, I wanted the best for you. But you made your choice. And we cannot disown you because of that. Ah, son, we still love you. And we accept Adora and our coming grandchild. Yes. Wow. You guys have actually colored this celebration. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Oh. What is this? What? What are you waiting for? Are you okay? Let's get the car. Let's get the car. Let's get the car. Where's the car? Guys, I'm scared. Cause magic is in belly. If all magic here, I'm a believer. One member, believe in yourself. But I got to believe in yourself. What a fact, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Present condition to cloud your vision. Uh, believe in God. One them to pursue the inner chigger. My corner pursue. If he only took work and melody. Have confidence in God. If he only took work and melody. I got chipo nanya nabi Okay, Okay, If I got 